Today's video is sponsored by our very own Spring Store, but more about that later. Greetings, my excellent friends, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Daily Scuba News. So I have some rather crappy news to talk to you about today. The highly infectious stony coral tissue loss disease, also known as SCTLD, which was first reported in Florida in 2014, was spotted in the Grand Cayman in June last year at the dive site called Penny's Arch near Rum Point. Since then, it has spread across the 22 mile long north coast, and more recently, there have been isolated outbreaks on reefs as much as two miles apart in the northeast and the southeast of the island. Also, to top it off, it's been spotted on the isolated Anchor Reef dive site in the southwest, making an intervention to stop SCTLD super challenging. So, at first, it was thought that this infection could only be spread by reefs and currents. But even though there has been a reduction of diving in the area due to COVID-19, it seems that local divers' equipment and boats have been contaminated and have been spreading SCTLD to other reefs and popular dive locations. When this infection was spotted at Penny's Arch, 10% uh, of the hard coral had died, with 35% being unhealthy. But as of April 2021, 57% uh, of the coral had died, and the only coral that doesn't seem to be killed off by this infection is elkhorn and staghorn. So what steps are they taking to stop the spread? Well, if you bring your own gear, you'll need to disinfect it between dives, and dive operators are being discouraged from making multi-site dive trips between infected and uninfected reef systems, which makes a lot of sense. The DOE have also been getting divers to apply antibiotic paste to infected coral which as of recording only seems to be the way of containing the spread of SCTLD. So let's hope these steps work because if they don't they'll no doubt have to stop people from going to the reefs altogether. Anyway that's it for today. Do you think that it was scuba divers that helped spread the infection? Do you think they'll be able to stop the spread? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Got a scuba diving question for Ask Mark? Well just type in your question in the comments and use the hashtag AskMark and we will add it to the show. Did you know that the surface interval, deep dive, AskMark, and of course Deco Stop go live first as a podcast before hitting YouTube and Instagram? You can listen to those shows wherever you get your podcasts. Just uh, search for Simply Scuba or Deco Stop. If you're watching this on Instagram, then why not heart the video and maybe share it in your stories. And to our YouTube family, don't forget to like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay classy scuba divers. Calling all scuba divers, do you want to stand out from the non-diving crowd? Do you want people to know that you are a scuba diver? Well then, our very own Spring Store will help you out. We stock tees, stickers, hoodies, phone cases, even mugs that all have a scuba diving theme to them. From our super popular emotional bolt snap tee, cave shark stickers, and our scuba dude hoodie, we have something for everybody. And our range is becoming more eco-friendly every single month thanks to Spring's eco-friendly range. Each order is printed fresh, which means less waste, less plastic, and it's better for the environment. And it also helps to battle clothing waste as well. To view our full range, just click on the link pinned in the comments. And hey, why not treat yourself to 10% off of your total order with the discount code DSN10. Okay, back to the video.